B and C together can do a piece of work in a certain number of days. A can do the same piece of work in equal number of days. If A and B together can do the same piece of work in 15 days and C can do the same piece of work in 24 days, then B alone can do the same piece of work in how many days? Right? So what is given B and C together can do a piece of work in a certain number of days. A can do the same piece of work in equal number of days. So whatever time B and C together takes in the same time, A can finish the work. So what does it mean basically? See the capacity of B is 1 by B. Capacity of C is 1 by C. Total capacity of B and C together will be 1 by B plus 1 by C, which should be equal to 1 by A. You know, B and C together takes some number of days. A can also finish the work in the same number of days, which means the capacity of B and C together is same as the capacity of A. Now, A and B together can do the same piece of work in 15 days. A and B together can do the same piece of work in 15 days and C can do the same piece of work in 24 days. So what does this mean now? A and B together can do it in 15 days. So 1 by A plus 1 by B equals to 1 by 15. And C can do the same work in 24 days. C can do the same work in 24 days means what? C can do it in 24 days. So basically 1 by C equals to 1 by 24. Capacities, right? All capacities. Then B alone. What is it? Nothing, right? I mean, substitute C here. So if you substitute C, what do we get here? C 1 by A take 1 by B on the other side, minus 1 by B will be equal to 1 by C and 1 by C is 1 by 24. So this is one equation, 1 by A plus 1 by B equals to 1 by 50 is the other equation. Work on these two, equation 1, equation 2. So what happens in the next step? Let's add the two equations, right? Equation 1 plus equation 2. What do we get? 1 by A plus 1 by A, 2 by A, minus 1 by B plus 1 by B gets cancelled, equals to 1 by 24 plus 1 by 15. Or I think we should ideally subtract the two equations. In that case, what happens is we'll directly get the value of B. See, he's asking us to find out the number of days in which B alone can do the work. So when you add, see, these, these are all smart uh, uh, approaches, right? If you add the two equations, you'll get A first. After getting A, then you have to substitute back and find out B. So what a smart person would do is instead of adding the two equations, he'll actually subtract. So A gets eliminated and we will have B available. You're able to follow? So let's let's change the approach. These corrective measures have to be taken so that you save time, right? So 1 minus 2 or let's say 2 minus 1. Let's actually take it as 2 minus 1. You don't have to write all this in the exam anyway. But So 2 minus 1, what happens? 2 minus 1, 1 by A minus 1 by A gets cancelled. 1 by B minus of minus 1 by B will become 2 by B equals to 1 by 15 minus 1 by 24. So what is the LCM here? 15 and 24, the LCM would be 120, right? Where 15 goes 8 times, 24 goes 5 times. So basically 2 by B equals to 3 by 120. 3 by 120, right? 3 by 120 is like 1 by 40. So 2 by B is 1 by 40. Implies B is what? 80 days. Right? Option 2 would be the answer.